Says the Lord unto the lady, I'm a-going away from home. Beware of false lambkin until I return. What cares I for lambkin or any of his kin? While the doors they are fastened and darkened within. As soon as my lordy, he was got out of sight. Then ready was that cruel lambkin to visit her that night. He rapped at the door, says, Nurse, let me in. I'll make you a lady and visit you in. He pinched that poor baby for to make that for to cry while Nurse sat a singing. Hush, hush, a bye bye. So they pinched that poor baby for to make that for to cry while nurse sat a singing hush hush a bye bye designated as Roud number 6 and going by many similar names Lankin, Lincoln, and Limkin, to name a few, with various adjectives like long, bold, cruel, and false, Lambkin is a widely popular song in England, Scotland, and North America. The level of dark, gothic violence present in the song is mainly what makes it so well known, and most variations preserve the murders while only altering the overall narrative. The earliest Scottish versions of the song, from about 1775, provide Lambkin with a motive for his violence, that of being a mason who built the Lord's castle but was cheated out of his payment, although the 19th century Northumbrian and English versions seemingly lost this explanatory verse and thus gave Lambkin other villainous backstories. In these, he is sometimes a rival lord, a slighted suitor, or merely a local bandit. In his analysis, Steve Roud brings up other wild theories that have been suggested throughout the song's lifetime, including that the titular character was a fairy employed to build the castle, but dismisses these as simply flights of fancy. Comically, or perhaps for the sake of taking the middle path, the version presented in the New Penguin Book of English Folk Songs gives no real motive for Lambkin's rampage. Another interesting tidbit for the song is that there are no known European songs of a similar nature, which would typically mean that an actual historical event inspired the piece. There are indeed locations in Scotland and Northumberland where local tradition insists that, yes, Lambkin is based on real murders that happened at this very castle, but there's no evidence to support any kind of historical basis. My reasoning for including Lambkin in this series is that I think it's a great gothic tale, and I'm an absolute sucker for great gothic tales. A villain so evil he pinches a baby? A faithless nurse? Gallows and burning? Sign me up! But I digress. If there's a deeper reason, I think it's because I'm such a huge fan of the Decemberists, and some of their best songs are dark, gloomy, and murdery, and I've always been keen to really dig into the folk tradition and inspiration behind such songs. Turns out there was absolutely a vibrant audience in the Regency and Victorian eras for tales of crimes most foul and murders most horrible. Thus, Lambkin is a great exemplar of this particular facet of folk songs. My favorite versions of this song include James Finley's solo vocal performance, John Wesley Harding's a cappella choral performance, and the full band performance by Finley Napier and the Barroom Mountaineers. Says the Lord unto the lady, I'm a going away from home. Beware of false lambkin until I return. 
What cares I for Lemkin or any of his kin? Well, the doors they are fastened and darkened within. As soon as my lord he was got out of sight, then ready was that cruel Lemkin to visit her that night. He rapped at the door, says, Nurse, let me in. I'll make you a lady and visit you in. He pinched that poor baby for to make that for to cry. One nurse sat a singing, hush, hush, bye bye. So they pinched that poor baby. For to make that for to cry While nurse sat a singing Hush, hush, bye, bye I cannot keep it good, ma'am With milk or with pap So I pray you, kind lady Come and nurse it in your lap How can I come down, nurse? At this time of the night, when there's no fire a burning, nor candle give a light, put on your golden mantle that will give you light. And I pray you, kind lady, come and nurse it in your lap tonight. She put on her golden mantle, not thinking any harm. And Lambkin was ready to catch her in his arms. Brother Lambkin, Brother Lambkin, spare my life till ten o'clock. I'll give you as many guineas as you can carry in your sack. I want none of your guineas, love. I want none of your gold. I want to see your heart's blood come trickling quite cold. Brother Lambkin, Brother Lambkin, Spare my life till ten o'clock You shall have my daughter Betsy As is up in the top You may fetch your daughter Betsy She may do you some good She may hold the silver basin For to catch your heart's blood There is blood in the kitchen, and there's blood in the hall. There's blood in the parlor, where the lady did fall. As Betsy was a-looking out of the tower so high, she saw her worried father a-coming riding by. Worried father, worried father, don't lay the blame on me It was that cruel Lambkin Murdered lady and baby And Lambkin is a-hanging On the high gallows tree And the nurse is a-burning In the fire close by Oh, the death bell is a-knelling For lady and baby and the green grasses are growing all over they and the green grasses are growing all over they